Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alima the Bird, and if you are visiting my channel for the first time, you are most welcome here. Here, I do a lot of movie reviews, movie conversations, lifestyle vlogs, and just get to know me better because I'm a Nigerian content. I'm a Nigerian-based content creator, and you know I'm fun, I guess. And if you're a regular here, you're welcome. You guys know how we do it over here. We do everything, everything you wanna hear. And you know what you're here already. So let's just jump right into today's video. Hey, before we go into today's video, I mean, you guys have not seen my face in like, what, six days now? And I have been posting a lot the past few, you know, weeks. But I just felt like, well, let me take a few days break. But Flossam had to bring me out of my, you know, vacation. <laughs> like I'm on vacation or whatever, bro. Hey, I just wanted to like you know rest a little bit, but I mean it's flossom season, baby, so we gotta keep it rolling. So that's why I'm back here today, and I don't know if I achieved what I wanted to today. The goal was to look like I don't care. I don't know. Did I did I achieve that? Like my hair, my face, like everything. I just want to look like I don't care. Anyway, I'm going to see this video today, Sha. So you're going to decide: do I look like I don't care, or do I look like I care? Because I actually care, right? I just want to look like I don't care. <laughs> Guys, let's talk everything floss up episode eight. I want to start from the fact that Evie is a very strong person, right? Like, I like her energy. I like how she holds on to what she like, what she believes in, and all of that. And to be very honest, I said it in my last episode. Evie deserves better. All these men that they just come and come and run in, what? She, she doesn't deserve men like this because look at what Mr. Tessa is doing now it's forming psychoanalysis on her head like bro, she is fighting for her money and that budget, that, that nonsense budget I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fan of uh, you know, let it go and hello, what are you letting go? this is your money but to be honest, what can she hold against him? are there like records that shows that he was just a POS withdrawal so she cannot really hold it against him I guess and I think he used our card. Did you get so like that would mean okay, she probably has to let it go. But don't make it seem like her fighting for her money is a bad thing, or it makes her look some type of way, or like it's because of her background. Like this is our money. This is somebody that jilted her. Like I don't understand what Mister Tese means by all what he was saying. Like I was, I was actually getting peace on her behalf. Like bro don't do that like don't you and i'm happy that she turned down his offer now so it's not on to uh later now you start forming boss on her head like please i beg don't 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 even try and the girls came through for us period baby what do you want to say bro i mean their friendship is one thing like i really really admire about them even though i feel like they're already falling apart bit by bit it's not yet so obvious but not falling apart falling apart but like they are not as tight. Well, everybody has something they're doing in their life, I guess. They're not as tight as they used to be in the beginning of the series. Yeah, that's that about, you know, the old EVA drama. Guys, am I the only one? <laughs> Sorry. Am I the only one that's not feeling Damien? Mm -mm. It's not It's not giving. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, you and Galakwa are getting along and all of that. And, you know, it makes us smile. But honestly if it was me i think i would i would just be so angry every time he speaks like i don't know it's not nah <laughs> sorry guys but nah i can't i can't it's like i don't see like i don't see what is like sweet about him or what is like interesting or like i don't know it just strikes me wrongly i don't know I, I i have a very wrong feeling about him i hope he proves me wrong though i hope you know he turns out to be really sweet person and good for the last one all of that but yeah that's just what i think of him as of right now and speaking about the last one's life the last one's brother gives me the ick sorry like what who is he what's that why is he acting like he doesn't have mouth of his own why is his wife so prepared -pre about somebody else's money like i was so angry like can't you call your wife can't you caution her the, this is your sister well of course a better person than i am honestly she's definitely a better person because it cannot be me it can it cannot be eh you talk about me like that and you're begging for my money 
bro you better have some respect because i will drag you through the fucking mud you don't have money of your whole you don't have a job i guess you're a job tell me you cannot do secretary i be customer care whatever it is and you still have mouth to come and beg uh-oh even if my own sibling is doing it you are supposed to you're supposed to even tell him that don't go and meet your younger sister again you to save but you know you are the one that is forming a ring leader that can talk i will show you ah black was a better person than i am i said it oh ah, nah <laughs> guys guys Uduak, Uduak. oh guys Uduak has been stressing me out since what now like episode four this is episode eight and it's just getting intense Uduak is embarrassing me Uduak is embarrassing us guys and we will not stand for it we are team rama we we have to fight for rama because what is that do you know, I actually believe that Olumide was dating some Jude guy. Like, I don't know why I even believe that. Like, for someone that is always very particular about how much Uduak, how much of a liar Uduak is, I shouldn't have thought that Uduak was staying the truth with you. I mean, I just felt like, mm, whatever. You're just saying it so that, you know, she would not suspect you. But I actually thought there was some truth in it. But he was lying. He was lying, guys. And then embarrassing Rama like that, like that guy is a walking red flag. Like everything about him screams red flag. From not caring about the um, the part where they want to have kids to speaking to his ex. Like why are you even talking to your ex? And then not just talking to your ex, but like doing business with her and not telling your partner. And like meeting him, like having ah, oh, bruh. I would actually break somebody's bones if I was in a shoes, baby. I would break bones, cause what? Nah, I am. <laughs> These girls, yeah, they, they are better people than I am. Ah, Amy, hey, <laughs> hey, guys. Nah, cause, cause it just feels like at every point she realizes something. Like he drags her back one thousand times. Like, why are you doing this to your wife? This person is your wife. Why can't you be honest with her? What is going on exactly? Is he actually sleeping with Olumide, or is he even sleeping with somebody else that's not Olumide and just flirting with Olumide? Banga, <laughs> guys, I can't wait for what is going to happen. I feel like there's going to be a lot of crazy things happening next episode and episode ten. I mean, we have five episodes to go, so let's see how that let's see how it plays out, Sha. Oh, and where did he get the money for the hearings? Damn money hearings. For someone that's always complained about how they don't have money. I mean, I get it, you want your wife's business to be special and all of that, but like diamonds and you didn't have money? Where did you get the money? Hmm. I feel like there's something fishy there too. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how that goes. And her, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy is going to break if you are with what he knows now about her mom. <laughs> Guys, I, what I think is going to happen, yeah, my, my expectation is probably that Timmy will try and cajole if you are's mom into doing his bidding and use it to bring if you are down. That's why I think it's going to happen. I don't know what this bidding is going to be exactly. Maybe she should sell off her shares, or maybe she should agree into selling off the company to Mr. Augustine, or whatever it is. He would want to have the upper hand, and I feel like having if anyone's mom secret in his hand is just that ticket he needs. And I'm sure he's going to tell her that he knows, and he's going to just you know try and manipulate his way around it. Because that guy is sneaky as hell, guys. He is very, very sneaky. And finally, guys, let us talk about God power. I am I am angry that he even exists. To be very honest, I am very angry that the character itself exists. But I I, I understand what they are trying to use him to do. It shows how. You know, I think it just expresses patriarchy more and how people try to look down on other people's work, their achievements and all of that. Because if that's not the case, yeah, somebody actually put together a fundraiser for your father's company and they're going there and for me, you guys all know, the yes, they do because they, they contributed their money, but who put it together? Is it you? Huh? Bro, is it you? Huh? <laughs> 
I've said it at a lot of points, a better person I am. Because if I was the one, I would not let him shine. I would not. I would cause chaos. That chaos. You see, the, well, maybe that's why I'm not yet, you know, in that position yet. Because if not, I'm just going to come and be like, oh, bring the mic. You, you, you probably don't know what to say. Because, I mean, you didn't contribute anything to this. <laughs> oh, ah, come on. You want to own my show, Nibu? Me. Nah, I will show you. Pepe. Ha. Guys, what did you think about this episode? Because I just feel like this episode was like it was crazy. Olumide in it, Rama falling into the water, Mr. Sese doing psychoanalysis on EVA, Simi and Ife in Wash drama. Like everybody just had one thing or another going on and it was super crazy. And personally, I love crazy. So yeah, that's my two cents on this episode. If I did not mention anything, you know I would do it with chat in the comment section. If you want to add to the gist, chat in the comment section. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.